Hey guys, finally I've received my S23 Ultra uh, delivered to me and I've also bought some case this is about $26, $25, 26 this is about $9 and this from Samsung it is $78 I have a $50 discount which is given by Samsung after I bought the S23 Ultra so it's now $28 right now let's do unboxing and later we'll check out how the case uh, performed
So over here, I have the Esplanade Street Ultra. The screen over here is still a curve, but as you can see, it is uh, more, I would say, which can I describe it as a sharper curve, because the S22 Ultra and the older versions are all slightly a bit more curvy over here. The curve radius over here is actually smaller. Still have your stylus. Quite a nice finish at the back. Matte kind of feel. It doesn't uh, cause any finger marks. So now let's test this cheapest one, the $9 uh casing a slight uh protrusion let me try to focus for this case i think it is um Good for screen protector when the screen protector is stick on, uh, especially the type of uh, those film kind of screen, screen protector, it will not be peeled off by the casing because the case is not going over the uh, screen. Button easily accessible. I like this uh, strap over here, it allows me to hold the phone in this way. The stand over here, it has a few different levels, so you can put it uh, at a steeper angle, but uh, mainly it should be used as a landscape mode. If it's this, it will topple. It's not that stable. Okay. So let's try the $25-$26 case. There's a bit more protection along the edge higher at the top it covers more of the uh, bezel the, the aluminum bezel over side so some of the screen protector the film type of screen protector probably will be lifted off at uh, some time that's always the case for this kind of um, bumper case there's a uh, camera guard as you can see, it is actually quite high. I thought that uh, there's a plastic sheet across so that it is it protects the camera better, but it is not. Let me try to open. It's actually hollow. Right. Then the button over here. Use okay. The stylus can reach easily. So this case probably it is also mainly for uh, landscape mode, but you can use it in the portrait mode. But uh, I think it may not be too stable. Okay, let's try the last one. The Samsung. Case. This is the rugged case.
the rugged case uh, has the most extreme uh, leaf. I mean, the reach is actually a lot more higher and the case feels heavier and also feels very, very thick. It gives uh, quite good protection, I think. It's a very thick kind of uh, loop here for you to put your straps. The button access uh, quite okay. The stylus, there's actually quite a deep recess in, but the case is uh, designed to be sloping at the side so that your thumb, when you push in, it is easily accessible as well. Okay, so let's see this uh, stand over here. So same case, mostly I think it is for landscape mode. Use for portrait mode, it will topple very easily. Okay. Then you can uh, change the back over here to this uh, card holder. Not very easy to move. Okay. Oh, I just found out you can do it in portrait mode by twisting this 90 degrees. Let's do it again. This is the portrait mode. Okay. Slide to unlock and move to portrait. You can do it in portrait. I think it's quite a good feature, this one. Okay. Okay, so let's see this card holder. To be frank, it is very, very thick. I don't know why they do it so thick. Probably because of this um, thing over here. But uh, overall, I don't think I'll be using this more often. I think I'll be using this more often over here. Right. Camera protection, I don't think there's much camera protection because the camera over here, I'm not too sure you can see, it is actually flush to the back casing over here. There's no reach or anything to protect the lens. Right. Okay, so in terms of camera protection, I think this is better because uh, there's a high reach at the back. Alright, so that's all. Uh, hope you like it. Thank you.